Hi, my name's Tony Eels from the Dogs, Queens and Video News Channel. We're here at the exhibition. It's day one, Hound Day, and we're just getting ready for the group. All the breeds have been judged by the three judges, and we're getting ready to go. The judge is Mr. John Walsh Jr. from Ireland, and he'll be doing the group. Let's get ready. Please put your hands together for our judge today. I'd like to hand over to our steward, now we have the first dog in the ring, it's going to be the Azawak. The Azawak, of course, is a, uh, probably a breed from the Arab Peninsula. It's from the subcontinent. Related to many of those kind of breeds, the um, Caravan Hound and Salukis, Afghans. Now we have the Basenji. Of course, the uh, native dog to Africa. South Africa and the African Southern African continent. Now we have the Beagle. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beagle. The standard long Dachshund. Now we have the standard, the mini long. And we have the mini smooth. The Jackson miniature wire here. The mini wire. The Jackson smooth here. Standard smooth Daxon. And the, Daxon wire hair. the standard wire hair Daxon. The Ridgeback. The Rhodesian Ridgeback. Yeah. And finally for the, the Saluki. The Saluki. Now we have the Bassett Fauve de Breton. The Bassett Hound. The Borzoi. The Borzoi. The Finnish Spitz. The Finnish Spitz. The Foxhound. The Foxhound. The Greyhound. The Greyhound. The Elkhound. The PBG V. The Pharaoh Hound. The Pharaoh Hound. The Portuguese Padengo. The Padengo. The Afghan Hound. The Afghan was a breeder, winner of a big group of Afghans. Finally, the Whippet. The Whippet. So, the first half of the group has already been judged by Mr. Walsh this morning. Uh, there were three judges who, who covered these breeds. Uh, from the Basset, the Fauve, the Basset, the Borzoi, the Finnish Spitz, the Foxhound, the Greyhound, the Elkhound, and the Petite, and the Pharaoh, and the Pedango, and the Afghan were all judged by... Um, sorry, the Afghan and the Whippet were judged by Mr. Bartman from Finland. Um, the Bassett breeds and the others were judged by a lady, I need a catalogue because I can't remember where she was from, uh, but most of the predominant amount of these breeds were judged by Mr Walsh this morning, so he's just going to re familiarise himself with the dogs. Here we have the Azawak young dog, they're quite a unique breed. Um, Kind of structured unlike any other dog.
shoulder angulation is quite different. The way they move is quite different. Um, they're bred for operation in the hot sands of the desert. And we have the Basenji, Young Dog, called Gamble. Basenji, of course, becoming quite a popular breed. That tightly curled tail, ear shape, length of muzzle, wrinkle, all things that are important in the standard of the Basenji. And he goes to the end of the line. Beagle seems like he's a little bit excited. The atmosphere here is pretty electric and the, and the dogs have had a long day. They're very excited with all the cheering and the crowds and for some dogs it just overstimulates them. And they get a little too excited. Which can be just as hard to deal with as a dog that doesn't want to be here, but this dog's quite happy. As you can see, his tail's up. Off he goes, the beagle. Going round to the end of the line. Now we have this standard long head Daxon. down and back. The dog's obviously very happy, moving quite well, wagging his tail. Got excited by looking at the mini long on the table. Off he goes, setting sail around the ring. It's a long way when you've got little short legs like that. Happy little dog. Now we've got the mini long, black and tan. he goes a little mini long the only thing difference of course between the standard and the miniature long is the size overseas they do have three different sizes in in Daxons but here we only have the two the mini and the standard now we have the standard smooth So a little mini smooth. You know, we're looking for that classic conical head, top line, 
recovering the ground. We don't want our keel too low. Well root back. Covering ground effortlessly, even though they're a small dog. They're still a working dog, a hunting dog. They should go to ground and to be able to hunt badger, which is why they have big teeth, even for a small dog. Now we have the standard wire. Wirehead Dax is one of my favourites. Who doesn't like a dog with whiskers? There's some lovely standard water, baby, um, mini wires here. Of course, the wires are the more terrier-like out of all of the Daxons. Traditionally, the only thing difference between the standard smooth, the standard wire, and the standard long is the coat. Same with the minis. The only thing difference, they should be exactly the same dog, just with a different coat. Coat length, coat texture. Now we have the standard smooth on the table. She goes, a standard smooth. Of course, one of the hallmarks of the breed in a Daxon is an apple shaped behind. Shows good rear drive, a good bum behind the tail. Nice tail set, gives them plenty of drive and strength to be able to dig down into the burrows. Go to ground to chase their prey. This, of course, is a standard wire head Daxon, the last of our Daxon breed to be judged today. Young dog, I, he may be an intermediate, but I think he could possibly still be at the top of junior. I'm a big fan of this breed, they're certainly one of my favourites. Now we have the Ridgeback, the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Is the Azawak, the Greyhound, the Whippet, the Afghan Hound, the Bullzoy, the Pharaoh. Saluki going round to the end of the line. Now we have the Fove, which he has already judged before. So we're just going to get it down and back. So I was actually mistaken. The first lot of dogs that he judged were actually dogs he hadn't seen before. So from the Azawak 
the, ba the Basenji, the Beagle, the Ridgeback, the Saluki, and all the Daxons were breeds that Mr. Walsh hadn't seen. Um, now he's judging, he, going over the bat, the folk was his winner. This is his Bassett winner. The Borzoi was his winner, the Finnish Spitz, the Foxhound and the Greyhound. the Bassett Hound, now we have the Borzoi. Boys is heading off and he's down and back. Here he is, Broker, making his way down and back. The big, huge gate of the Borzoi. One of the larger of the sight hounds. We didn't have any wolf hounds or any deer hounds entered here, which are the two biggest hounds. Boys would be third. Also, when I was young, was known as a Russian wolf hound. Now we have the Finnish Spitz. This is quite a rare breed. Uh, it's unusual that it is the Finnish Spitz is in the hound group. It is the only Spitz in the hound group. Oh, well, that's not true. The elf hound. Um, from Norway, but quite a different style of dog for the hound group. <laughs> now we have the Foxhound, one of my favourites. Almost like a beagle on steroids. different the show greyhound to the racing greyhound usually tend to be heavier in body a Norwegian elk hound Bassett Griffin Von Dien. Heavy GV to his friends. Now we have the Pharaoh Hound. Now this dog, I think two years ago, won Best in Show here at the show. Cyrus is his name. A very sweet dog. Very well trained, a great show dog. Using his ears, making use of all the time that he's to see. Off he 
goes. Now we have the Portuguese Padango Small. Looks like a fawn and white. Usually they're more red than that. The ones I've seen, they do come in a multitude of colours. Quite a rare breed here in Australia. They've only been here maybe 15 years. Now we have the Afghan Hound. The Afghan did beat, I think there were 19 Afghans here today. Uh, Jagger to his friends. Uh, a few weeks ago at the API shows, the API weekend. He had an amazing weekend. I think he won two or three best in shows. Off he goes around to the end of the line. Last but not least is the Whippet. Now, this was the best of breed winner. There were Whippets today were the largest breed today and the second largest breed for the Royal overall. There were 67 entries. Uh, this is Asha. And her son today was runner up. Look at that lovely shape with a gentle rise over the loin as we move. Beautiful whip of daisy cutter action, nice low long movement in the front. Of course one of the side hounds, Ash is having a bit of a look to see who else is around the ring with her. As I have said before, I am a huge fan of this whip. I actually have a granddaughter. So ladies and gentlemen, it's been a very long day today. We've had nearly 300 dogs being judged. We've had three judges working all day. Please put your hands together for all of our best of So the judge is just getting instructions from the head steward. See whether he's going to shortlist or he's going to tell the judge who he's going to put up. He may have already made his mind. He's just getting final instructions. Moving down the line, final consideration. When you're looking at this, as the, as the camera pans down, put your comment below who you think might be the winner here today. I would think boys always getting a good look. I would think the Pharaoh has a good chance, the Afghan, the Whippet, maybe even the Petite. Maybe the Standard Smooth as well. There are some lovely dogs in this lineup. I'm not really sure what Mr. Walsh is going to pick, but we will find out any minute at who our best in group winner at the Royal. Mr. Walsh has made his decision. Let's see if we can lip read. So ladies and gentlemen, the decision has been made. Can I please invite our sponsors out today, please? Black Hawk, Black Hawk, a dog group perhaps, Hush Puppy, Guide Dogs Australia, Can we also thank the RNA for putting on such a fantastic event for today? <laughs> Please put your hands together one last time for all our best of Today, 
Best in group goes to the Whippet. Yes, the Whippet. Ladies and gentlemen, the Whippet is from the Open class. Well done to Vicky and Daryl Exhibit 249. Now her son has come back into the ring. This is Luigi. Sure thing, I'm a Luigi. And um, here we judge by the dog. Group, the runner of Mr. Green will come in and be able to reassess. Have a look. We're back in the lineup. And I judge we'll choose the runner of Best in Group from all the dogs that are standing before you. It's going over Luigi. As I said, his mum just won the group. While you're here, ladies and gentlemen, please take time to go down and talk to our, our um, sponsors down in the general the vendors for you. Blackboard, Plush Puppy. Go and have a talk to Guide Dogs Australia. Please encourage, I'd encourage you to go and visit them and find out what the folks in their ranges that might see your, your uh, family care. So the weapon's being looked at. It's going to stack, going back into the line. Down to the end of the line. And our judge will get to a point of run this time. Now we're going to award our runner up in group. Three, the Pharaoh Hound. Well done to Cyrus the Pharaoh, runner up in group.